Well guys, um, welcome back to another Mandy Loves Japan video without Mandy. Um, while she's at work, I've decided I'm going to do some cooking and I thought I'd bring you guys along. Um, about the only Australian food that I'm really, really missing living here in Japan is just a good old meat pie. I cannot find meat pies for sale anywhere. Um, there is one place online that sells Australian meat pies frozen, um, but they work out at about $15 each and that's a little bit out of my budget. Um, that's for a single serve pie. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to have a crack at making a, a pie from scratch. Um, I haven't made a pie in a while. Um, I also haven't made pastry in a while and I'm, I'm going to make both the short crust baste and the um, puff pastry top um, from scratch because I can't even find frozen pastry here. It's just not doesn't seem to be a thing here in Japan, um, at least not in the shops that I've been looking in. So, um, yeah. Now, I'm not a chef or anything, and this isn't a how-to video. Uh, I'm just going to have a crack at doing this, and hey, you get to watch. Um, so let's pretend that I've sifted this, because I don't own a sieve. Um, hopefully, this will still work. Already I'm making a mess. Can you tell I'm not a pastry chef? If you are a pastry chef, or just anyone who's made pastry before, <clears throat> feel free to let me know where I've gone wrong. But hopefully, hopefully this will work. on the uh, little dining room table that we've got because our kitchen is so small it doesn't have any bench space at all.
<coughs> Alrighty. Oh, I'll go put this in the fridge and I'll be back. Hmm. Let's clean this up. Well, that was easy. Now, on to the puff pastry. Okay. Um, the puff pastry recipe I'm using recommended grating the butter instead of cutting it. Um, I'm giving that a shot. Um, hopefully, hopefully it makes life that bit easier. I think um, grating it has made it easier to combine, well it's made it harder to get out of the bowl. And of course I've just realised I've forgotten an ingredient. Um, Back in a second with some sugar. Perhaps I should have been more organised than this. The um, the recipe that I am following that's said to use sugar doesn't have uh, quantities. It just says sugar. Um, so in looking at other recipes for how much sugar to put in, none of the other recipes call for sugar. So I'm not putting sugar in. Thing wrap and get it in the fridge. All right, welcome to my kitchen. Um, apart from the sink, you can see all of it. So this is what we've got to work with. Um, now, feel free to tell me I'm chopping my on onions incorrectly, um, but this is the way I do it. These onions came pre-peeled as you can see, but they've still left like the last little bit of skin on, which is weird, so I've taken that off. Whoa. Unfortunately these knives aren't the, this knife isn't the sharpest. Um, but again, we're working with what we've got. It's been interesting moving from Australia, um, having spent 20 years with of, of accumulating gear as we go, um, it's been interesting to now start again from scratch. We've had so many things that, you know, we've accumulated good knives and good cookware and tools and all sorts of things. And because we've moved over here with basically nothing, um, we've got to start from scratch with everything, so um, that becomes a very expensive venture if you try and buy lots of good quality stuff like knives. At home I've got a big 
12 inch cast iron pan that would be great for this um, but it's in another country Um, I'd also love to have used straight beef mince for this, um, but this is a little under ten dollars worth of mince, ten Australian dollars. Uh, this is beef and pork, so hopefully you should still have some good flavour that combination. One of the interesting things that we do differently here is the way that we recycle different things. Uh, and one of those big differences is these foam trays, they get washed and taken back to the grocery store, put in a container at the grocery store and they get, I don't know if they get crushed up and made into new trays or if they get washed thoroughly and reused, um, but that's what happens with taking them back to the grocery store. For them to be recycled. Apologies for the fan, it's a requirement here. A little CO2 sensor in the corner that will go off if I don't have the fan on while I'm cooking. Gonna do a little bit of substituting here. Um, I was gonna use Worcestershire sauce and I thought I had some. I can't find any, um, but I found some Okonomi sauce, so I'm gonna use that instead. Um, bit surprising I can get tomato ketchup here. Uh, and another, another substitution, I'm supposed to be using beef stock cubes, but I could not find stock cubes of any type. Um, so instead I am using, um, basically, basically this is a beef stew mix, broken down in a bit of water. Uh, I might leave that to break down for a little bit longer. Hopefully that'll stir in okay. I've turned it down just a little, but um, the smell of that is incredible. It smells like a meat pie. I am so happy with how that smells so far. I just hope it'll um, cook down a little bit more before I add a bit of 
flour and water to thicken it up. Hopefully this should be delicious. I just tasted some of that. Um, I don't often taste what I'm cooking, but I know that I should. Um, but that is incredible. All right, let's stir this in. Picking up nicely. Ooh. Need to hold it in place so it doesn't go anywhere. that to simmer and then cool uh, and then we'll throw it all together and see if we can't make a pie. Alright gang welcome back um, so everything's had time to cool and chill in the fridge and all of that um, now on on reflection I definitely don't have enough uh, short crust pastry to do two bases as you can see um, so all I'll do is I'll roll this out just a little bit more um, and fill one and I'll see how I'm going for puff pastry I might see if I can do um, a baseless pie in there we'll, we'll see what happens I've got some of these foil trays um, anyway let's press on and see what happens chefs looking on in horror, um, but I don't really care if it's super pretty, as long as it tastes good. That's my only real condition. Tell you what, I might not have enough for two here. I thought for sure there was going to be way too much for one. That's definitely all of that. Mm. 
Alright. Let's move. This goes something like this. I think this is why it gets beautiful and golden and flaky because you create these little air pockets, and apparently, where the butter melts is where it creates a layer and things like that. Again, I am no pastry chef. I've managed to find an actual knife. Um, um, oh. Maybe just a bit of water around the edges apparently helps the pastry to stick. Seeing people more talented than me doing really cool things to give it a really cool edge, um, I'm not doing that. There we go. And because we don't have a basting brush, we have a pretty rudimentary crack at this. This is just egg. Um, I've seen people do it with milk as well. I have no idea which is better or why. Feel free to let me know what you do. Let us know down in the comments which way you do it. Alrighty. Let's go put it in the oven and see what happens. Here we go guys. Here is Ooh. our pie. I keep wanting to call it a cake for some reason. <clears throat> it looks Let's... so good. Do you want to do the honours? No, it's all you. Okay. Oh, that sounds good. Oh my gosh, it looks amazing. Oh, is it bad that I just cut the, cut the J for Japan in half? No. Oh, that looks amazing. Oh, it's a bit fully a party. <laughs> I think I need to dish it up with a spoon. That's okay. But? It looks incredible. Um. It's pretty hot, but I'm still going to ask Mandy to have a quick taste on camera. Are you uh, inside? I love you. Alright, we're ready. Oh. 
Oh, it's really hot. Mm. Oh, that's so good. Oh my gosh, that's amazing. Here's the crust. Let's find out. Oh, crispy and crumbly. <laughs> Alright guys, well, I mm. hope you've enjoyed that for something different. Um, yeah, alright. Um, Leave me to my pie now. Don't forget to like, follow and subscribe and all of those things. Yum. Janet. <laughs>